for, but... I to cut of duck tends to be duck breast. Now, I do love a magret de canard, but for me, duck legs are best. They're so underrated. I mean, they have more flavour and they cost less. Um, two duck legs, please, Danny. Those to look OK? Perfect. Now, the thing is, duck legs are much fattier than so-called magret de canard. But that's why I like them, and that's what gives them the flavour. And what's more, the thing about the duck legs, as they cook, the fat seeps into the tin and roasts my potatoes. There you go. Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 It's on days when I'm too tired to cook that I need the most substantial supper. So, on these occasions, I'm a firm believer in the love em and leave them school of cookery. Roast duck legs and potatoes may take time to cook, but believe me, they're all treat, no toil. You just put the duck legs skin side down in a pan to sear. You know, I want a pan that will go into the oven later. Get a knife. Chop some baking potatoes. One per person. And this is where I like to cut them, just in thick slices. And then I cut each slice in four so that the insides will be really cooked and the outsides crisp. The oven is preheated to 200 degrees to get perfection, really tender duck legs, really crisp potatoes. Two hours is optimal. Let's see whether the duck legs are seared. And they are. Now, they will get even more scorched by the oven, but this is absolutely fine for now. So I'm going to turn the heat off. Move this to a cooler place. And my potatoes just get tucked in around the duck legs. It's not that I couldn't do this on the heat, it's just I don't want to get burnt as I put them in. More fat will come out of the duck legs as they roast, and that's why I don't need to add any oil to the potatoes now. You have no idea how fantastically crisp potatoes are when cooked in duck fat, much like goose fat, actually. And now, finally, some salt. It's mainly on the duck, actually. Like my mother, I like white pepper, freshly ground, but white, but black is fine. And finally, for beauty, for scent and for taste, some sprigs of thyme. Feel free to use dried thyme if you can't get fresh thyme. I mean, it won't look as pretty and you won't get the pleasure of strewing, but it will still taste fantastic. What can I say? That's it. And while this cooks, I can chill.